hi guys so today I'm gonna to be installing this unit as you guys can see I was gonna wear it but I decided not to because obviously I have to put on my brown sock first so with this method I just randomly put on my sock and I try and make sure that I I take every little bit of hair that's in front underneath the sock so that I don't have any flyaways with regarding my hair. I do use the got to be you glue uh, in the um, white gel formula and I always just apply uh, right in front with my hairline. Yeah, right on top of my hairline and brush away every little hair that's left behind. As you guys can see, just so that I have like a clear, 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 clear hairline so that my wig can sit and nothing is going to be showing regarding my own hair. Some of the old songs. And then now I'm going to be pulling the sock to the front and then pull it back again to take every little hair, literally every little hair that is brushed away will sit underneath the sock and you will have a clear hairline. And I use this hairband for the wig when I'm wearing the wig. So I always put it first and I put it right on my neck. And then I put on the wig. You guys will see how it's going to come out actually. Like how I use it and everything. Oh, and I use the Got To Be You glue and also this comb. I got this comb from Mr. Price. Yeah, I got this comb from Mr. Price last year. I don't know if they still have it. It came in a set. And this one is very convenient because I can also use it to apply glue on my hairline. And I just... Put it in small portions. I apply it in small portions because you don't want a lot because now it's going to be visible. Remember this glue is white. So if it's white, it means it actually shows underneath your, your lace. So you don't want to put a lot, but at the same time, you want to have just enough for it to hold and give you that extreme stream hold. And I use the sanitizer wipes uh, to wipe out the comb because I'm still going to use it to open up lines and other stuff. So now I am pulling my lace to the front just to make sure it sits right on top of the glue and don't pull your lace too too much because sometimes I used to make that mistake and now it, it really looks like a wig. Just make sure you you your hairline or your wig line is just right in front of your hairline, your natural hairline. And that's how your wig is going to be giving some natural results. Regarding this wig, it's a bit tight, so I have to keep pulling until I have the perfect uh, hairline for my closure. Yeah, and the corners of the wig are always a problem. You will have to do them at the end. I mean, at the end when you have even dried out the entire portions. I cut out a little bit because I realized it's still overlapping. Well, I think I didn't cut enough even now, but it kind of came out perfectly anyways. Now I'm just hair drying so that I can speed up the process. And if you notice my dryer is like far away from my head, you should do that because I don't know. Uh, I can't adjust mine because it's quite old. You just need like a cool dryer. Oh, and I did curls off camera because I wanted a curly look. And I did curls for the first time. It gave me so much hassles, but I think I finally got it right or a bit right. So now I'm going to be laying flat my frontal so that it, it gives that natural feel or look. So that it gives that natural appearance 
but now I'm just combing back my hair so that I have a clear vision of what I'm going to do when I use my mousse you guys will see and there goes the mousse that's the olive oil mousse guys I'm telling you that one works like magic honestly I don't want to not tell you that so now I'm just applying like basically on the front because I want it to sit flat <laughs> taking out a portion of my frontal for edges i'm not gonna cut that out like i usually do uh cut it short because i'm not sure if i want edges all the time with this wig so i just i just laid the edges with the long pieces that i got out like the long portion of hair that i got out and it also came out really fine so you don't always have to cut out or cut them short because it it works also my friend was here so if you guys see me talking it's because my friend came through at the end of the video while i was filming but it wasn't like a problem because i always knew i was going to do a voiceover for this video uh so you apply the got to be glue just to make sure everything sticks when you are done and you take back your sock or your band whatever band you guys decide to use just to make sure it dries out and sticks in and it gives a natural feel or a natural appearance i mean kind of ruined my my curls but i, I fixed them at the end i did fix them Okay, this is me selecting a portion of my hair that I'm going to fix. So every time you do a curl, you have to like have straight, straight hair so that it comes off. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also hit the bell button for any notifications on my channel. Also follow me on Instagram. It's at Milashi underscore H. So yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Please watch my previous videos and enjoy.